Hey there, Terry Levine here. I'm going to actually teach you today exactly what an advertisement is. Now, I'm going to talk about the different parts of an advertisement. I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm also going to tell you what not to do. And I'm going to break up the ad so that I can help you further dissect it. But first of all, let me ask this question. What is an advertisement? Put your comments in. I'm curious what you think an advertisement is. Because contrary to popular belief, an ad is not a message that entertains. It's not a message that makes a statement. And by the way, it's also not a message that needs to look attractive. An advertisement is a sales method. Write that down, a sales method. The ad can be in a print publication. It can be sent by mail. It can be email. It could be a podcast. It could be TV. It can be social media. It could be anything. So what does it really mean? An advertisement is really sales. Well, it means the ad is the same thing as a salesperson. Just put down advertisement equals salesperson. When you have a great salesperson on your team, you know, they can dress up really nicely and they don't just sit there waiting for someone to come to them. They don't sit there hoping that miraculously someone's going to come to them and that the law of attraction is going to bring them the right people. Instead, you would take your great salesperson and you would send them out to do some prospecting and to tell what's so great about your business, your services, your programs, your products, or your company. And they would, of course, have to talk about the result that people get and not the features, the benefits of what they get, right? So what I see is I see people create websites and then they write eBooks and they get on everybody's podcast and they have these sleek PowerPoint presentations and banners. And they might look really, really great. And it's sort of like dressing up a salesperson. So they look really great. And that's a complete waste of money. It's a complete waste of money. For one thing, um, the person or your ads don't need to look great. And the second thing is none of that is proven to work. The third thing is that I was looking at some people's quote ads and even their Facebook posts. They're using really technical words. Your goal is always to create ads not to show off your vocabulary skills. In fact, it's the opposite. It's by using language that people are familiar with and that people have heard. 80% of the language that you use should be one syllable. One syllable. It really should be at like a fifth grade level. A good ad is comprised of having the right headline. This is all discussed, by the way, in my book, The Conversion Equation. That good headline will stop a person in their tracks. And the headline can't be subtle. It needs to be a blast that says, hey, wake up, come out of downtime. And this is important to you, so pay attention. After we have interrupted them, we engage them. That's step two of the conversion equation. Again, not by telling how great you are, your products are, your services are, engaging them with some data, some facts, appealing to them their emotions so that they continue to stay in uptime and want to hear what you have to say. Then the third step of the conversion equation is now you educate them. And, you know, maybe you talk about some of the symptoms that they're having in their business or some of the statistics that other entrepreneurs are having or other people just like them are having. And that, by the way, knowing that data and statistics and emotionally relating to them is where you build your credibility. The fourth step of the conversion equation is offer. And that's simply extending your hand, making a low or no risk offer. And in my experience, those offers work really well when it is the lowest risk possible and free works extremely well. The purpose of the ad is reverse marketing to get people to raise their hands and to say, hmm, I'm in uptime. This might be me. And then they take you up on that offer, okay? Whether the offer is fill out a form, complete a survey, download a book, get a special report, join your Facebook group, whatever it might be. And that conversion equation is what you need to be using in all of your quote ads. And everything that you do, I call an ad because everything that you do has a purpose using the conversion equation 
of allowing people to wake up to what you have to say and to see if it's relevant to them, establish some rapport and credibility with them, and then give them something of high value. I say this to my client family members all the time. If you don't have enough prospects and enough income, you're missing two components. You're not creating enough value and you're not giving away the best education. I hope something in here helps, resonates. This is for you.